In today's video, I'm opening an extremely rare Yu-Gi-Oh collection. What's up guys, we're back with another collection purchase. In today's video, I have a very special collection that I bought and it's a pretty exciting one. There's some crazy cards inside. I'll be giving away these three cards that we pulled in our Samurai Assault video recently. If you guys missed that one, go check it out. But a couple secret rares, we have a Thor, Lord of the Acers, so pretty cool. Like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know what you think about this collection. There's some special cards that I want you to see. Let's get this thing open and dive into the cards. Wow. All right, I have dissected it out down to this, but there was a lot of packaging in here, which is, you know, good, keeping it safe. I got this collection from a friend of mine on Instagram named Kid Collectibles. He's a very uh, clutch dude on there, and he has hooked me up with a lot of really cool stuff before. And we are have deals for more things in the future. So, uh, yeah, you'll probably hear more about him at some point, but I'm hoping that these cards are as nice as he said they were. He said these things are looking real, real minty. So I'm excited for this to potentially have some minty cards to grade because I'm still building up the next bulk submission as well as other submissions, like, you know, not quite as bulky. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to spoil this. There he is, the man himself. Okay, first thing we have some, what appears to be Japanese cards. I don't know what this little bag is, but we're going to find out. Maybe these are extras. I'm not totally sure. We have a, uh, you know, jam something, jam machine, jam breeding machine, maybe. We got Dark Lord Marie. We've got a little, uh, what is that called? Soul Rope or something. The Chosen One, Anakin Skywalker. Uh, that's an alternate art. I don't remember the, uh, or like a, the original art that we eroded or something or changed. There's another uh, Kid Collectibles. We have, oh, another VB5. This is actually a pretty rare Barrel Dragon Secret Rare. It's a VB5 version rather than the, what's our version? The Master Collection maybe or something. Uh, then we have a Hollow Gear Free the Iron Knight. This is TB51. Spellbinding Circle in the original artwork. Very cool. Did I buy these or these extras? I can't remember. Then a first edition Judgment of Anubis in English. Cool. A little bit off center, but very cool card. So really cool to see these OCG cards. That Gear Free looks really cool. And what they did on these OCG cards is like the actual picture and like monster is bigger and then it's like smaller text box and smaller attack and defense so the anime style you know like they have it in like the actual show very cool looking i like that and now we get into some really nice cards that we bought so first of all we have some promos the legendary perfectly ultimate great moth pairs perfectly with the petite moth in master Duel. i don't know if you guys have seen but the perfect 10 minute testing video will pop up on your screen it was incredible perfectly ultimate great moth hopefully this is gradable i don't have this in psa 10 whoa okay wait let's see if it is or if that's just the back of the uh, card saver let's see looked a little scratched up there but i think that was the card saver so this card looks minty on the front very nice and minty on the back looking good probably going to be grading this hoping for a psa 10 moth i do love a good perfectly ultimate great moth or a moth in general so we have grande moth i don't know what we should call this moth like this is the the granddaddy moth probably is what we should call it granddaddy moth needs to be a psa 10 centering is Good enough, I think. Good enough. I think we have a chance there. And that's a Sacred Cards promo. We also have another Sacred Cards promo, which is Rear Yoku. I assume that's the original Sacred Cards promos, but sometimes they have like, a, if it's like from Europe, it's a different promo set. It's kind of confusing. They swap around. So Rear Yoku looks pretty good on the front. Uh, centering is also pretty good. Maybe a little bit of like cutting with a dull blade at the top. Back looks pretty good. I think this thing has a chance as well. We'll definitely be sending these in to get more uh, potential PSA 10s on our game promos. Ryoku was actually a decent card back in the day, especially like Playground Yu-Gi-Oh! It's like this card's insane. Then the final Sacred Cards promo right here is Negate Attack. So we'll be negating attacks. Very cool stuff here. It's a Prismatic Secret Rare. Front looks good. A little bit of a print line I can see there. That might hold it back a little bit. We'll see. Centering is perfect on this card though. And the back is pretty clean as well. This thing definitely has a chance at a PSA 10. Very good to see that. I do like those Sacred Cards promos. Almost everyone had those because Sacred Cards was such a popular game. So those were the three that you would get usually. Here's one I never had. I didn't have the World Championship 2004, I don't think. So the Fairy King Truesdale. It's also more of like a, this just feels like you're watching a random fairy anime. You know what I mean? And uh, this guy just appears. Okay, so uh, still a cool card. We've got... Oh no, it's bent at the bottom. Oh, that's a shame. That will not be grading. Okay, little bent on that guy. That's unfortunate. Uh, don't think that we knew about that one or maybe he missed it or maybe I missed it. That's possible as well. 
But uh, still a cool card. Not that expensive anyway, but still kind of sad that it's bent. Then we got our Kinetic Soldier. This is a very annoying card. In Duel Links for a while, it was actually kind of used because, you know, you can set it face down and use, like, certain traps on it to make it go crazy. Um, looks pretty good centering. A little bit warped, it seems, maybe. Warping is not as bad as the bending on the other one. Like, warp, yeah, it's definitely warped, but this one can be, like, flattened a little bit and shouldn't be a big deal. I think that thing looks like it'd be a PSA 10 as well. Kinetic Soldier from World Championships 2004. And the final card from World Championships 2004 was the Slate Warrior. This is another big one because back in the day, I loved 1900 beat sticks. I mean, who didn't as a kid? It's like, yeah, this guy's huge. And then if you flip him face up, he becomes 2400. So this card was really good. You know, you can just dominate if you got it flipped up a 2400 normal summon or flip summon technically on that point. Wow. That's not grading a 10. Look at that centering. Whoa! Like normally the back doesn't matter that much, but when it's that bad, that is probably gonna matter. Slate Warrior, way off center. It's still a really cool card though. Good to see those minty cards. That's not all the promos though. We have a Valkyrian the Magnet Warrior. This one would be really cool to get in a 10. This one is from Stairway to Destin Duel. So that's also a pretty cool game. I don't think I ever played it, but Really nice promos in this one specifically. There's a couple of good ones coming up after this. Looking pretty clean on that one. Not seeing any bends. Okay, we have a little corner issue right there. If you guys can see it. Whoa, don't drop it. I didn't drop it. Don't worry. Um, okay, can't see it on the back. So it's just a little silvering. Don't drop the card. Very nice Valkyrian. All right. The Sinister Serpent. A classic GOAT format card. Sinister Serpent. This is an OG for almost everybody. I mean, I mean if you play GOAT format... Yeah, I didn't use this back in the day, but in GOAT, it's just like so prevalent. You just keep using it over and over and over. Very, very clean. It's not the uh, TFK version, um, but this is like a $10 card that looks incredible. So, Sinister Serpent, awesome. I think it's centered enough. Might have a chance at a PSA 10. Good to see that one as well. And then our last game promo that we have is the Harvey's Feather Duster, which is the best one we've had yet. So Harvey's Feather Duster, crazy, insane card. You could get this out of a game. You buy a game, you could get a Feather Duster. It's absolutely insane. Prismatic Secret looks incredible. Centering looks good. Back looks... Oh, no! The best one has a dimple in the back. Oh, in the front all the way through. Oh, no. That is sad. Harpy's Feather Duster. This one will probably be getting used in some sort of deck at some point because, yeah, we're not grading that one. All right, and now what we actually bought, those are just extras. What we actually bought was a set of Spell of Mask. Hollow set, I should say, which you may have never heard of this set, but in 2001, before the English TCG even started, there was a set called Spell of Mask. And inside it had some hollows and it had some pretty big ones. So first thing we had was the Mask of Restrict. So we're not going to like check all these out super closely, but we are going to look at these. Mask of, not Mask of Restrict, Mask of the Accursed. Sorry, Mask of the Accursed. This is the one you equip to a monster and they lose 500 life points every turn. Uh, equip spell, you can see it right there. Beautiful artwork. This was used by Loomis and Umbra in the show. Old school anime card. So that's the first hollow. Nothing too crazy on that one, but very cool. Then we have another mask, the Mask of Dispel. It's called Spell of Mask. So surprise, surprise, it has masks in it. But Mask of Dispel, also a pretty good card. Pretty creepy artwork. I mean, it's like, ooh, that is a very scary looking mask. Okay. Cool, super rare there. We got another one you may be familiar with, which is the Fire Princess. This is an LON super rare. So we got this in 2003. They got this in 2001 in a super rare print. Very awesome looking fire princess incredible super rare awesome card we're still going though there's more good stuff and a big one is the revival jam super rare revival jam also got an lon so all so far been lon cards so it's like a lot of the spell of mask turned into labyrinth of nightmare this is one of my favorite cards ever revival jam is super super cool i love the lon version i might like this one even more this one looks incredible i love the like the the blue on the the hollow it's just like only the revival jam is hollow and it looks really cool then we have a card that was not hollow in labyrinth of nightmare it was nubia the wicked which got just a regular rare I never noticed how creepy this artwork is, but being a hollow makes it look even creepier. This is an ultra rare, actually, Nubia the Wicked. So let's check this thing out. It's so weird because it's just a regular rare in our uh, our set. So very interesting. I don't even remember what it does. I feel like it's not very good. Very strange looking card, but fits in this set perfectly. You know, just weird cards like masks. I mean, kind of has a mask itself. He is like a four star 2K attacker. I don't remember this. Another Nubia the Wicked. So... There are different versions in here of what you can get. I feel like this is supposed to be a parallel. Oh yeah, okay. 
It's like a laminated rare looking. So let me compare this to this one. So this is just a regular ultra. Then you compare it to this, which is like laminated rare. I think it's supposed to have like parallel things on it and it doesn't. I feel like it's like an error is a strong word. Don't get carried away. But like, I feel like maybe it either got like over time it kind of faded kind of like hobby league this can happen where they have like the lines going across and then they just kind of go away so i feel like that's what happened here i don't know what this rarity is called exactly like prismatic parallel par parallel secret rare something like that and the reason i think it lost that is because a couple of these coming up have it so we have a mask restrict this is also an ultra rare got to go in the spell up mask set makes perfect sense ultra rare just like in line with the nightmare for us so very cool to see that card then we have another version of it which is i guess parallel rare parallel secret rare i don't know which one it is you can see it here i want to get a little bit closer of a look at this two different versions of the same card you know something japan's been doing for a long time we didn't start doing it for till ultimate rares i guess so got a little bit of shiny there i don't really love the look of this I think it's kind of average, you know, there's better, there's better rarities. Japan has done it better, but still pretty cool and a unique rarity that we've never gotten. We have Hobby League, I guess, but it looks a little bit different than that. So next up, we have the card of safe return. Also a card that we have in Labyrinth of Nightmare. Almost all these cards are Labyrinth of Nightmare, except one. I'll show you guys in a minute. Uh, that's an ultra rare. Very cool. And then another one. Oh, wait, that might not have been the ultra rare. Wait, we got to find this. I can't really tell. See, I think like that is an ultra rare. Let me check this one out. It's like if it's in the sleeve, you can't really tell. Yeah, that's the laminated. Uh, we're just calling it laminated rare. Thanks to E3 Yu-Gi-Oh inspired me to come up with that name. So laminated rare is what we're going to go with. And then we get to the big ones. There are two big, big cards in it. Well, technically there's two versions of this one. We have the mass beast. This is a parallel secret rare. Prismatic secret rare actually, I think is the name. Parallels the other one I was trying to talk about earlier. This is a very beautiful beautiful secret rare card this is awesome it's 3200 attack it's a classic you know oh it's got a oh it's got a dent in it that is a real shame a dent and then like another mini dent next to it so unfortunately that one will not be getting graded but still a cool looking card but don't worry we have the higher rarity version the ultimate rare that you could pull out of spell of mask absolutely in insane looking card this is sm00 the first card in the set ultimate rare look at that texture on it wow okay that thing has a little it seems like it has a ding on it it does it has a little bit of a binder dent oh no no the mask of the or mask of the what you want to say mass beast not mask of the accursed it is not perfect condition it has a little bit going on with it still wow it looks so good the japanese old school ultimate rares look amazing they had ultimate rares before we even started our game and we didn't get them till 2004 which is a crying shame and finally we have the legendary if you know anything about spell of mask you already know what card this is but if you don't know would like i don't know a lot about ocg either so i suspect a lot of you guys don't know what's coming we have the ultimate rare blue eyes white dragon an sdk slash dds artwork yes this is the big one the blue eyes white dragon ultimate rare in absolutely amazing condition uh, supposedly we're gonna find out let's look whoa look at that guys look at that the, the circles in the background when you just kind of move it around looks absolutely awesome kind of fades in and out that is super cool the old school japanese you know uh attack points and stuff like that looks beautiful i don't see any like dents or anything on this one corners look pretty good corners looking nice this is the one that i really paid attention to like the condition he said this was like really really good so i think he was right about that one it seems like it's looking good wow ultimate rare and this is basically the whole purchase it was for this card the rest is just like cool stuff we got on the side but we really wanted to buy this blue eyes white dragon because i do not own one of these so getting one is epic so i'm probably going to grade it and add it to the collection because i do not hopefully it gets a 10 because i do not have any of this at all so getting a psa 10 would be really cool i don't have any psa 10 blue eyes like real i mean i have a couple but like when it comes to sdk dds and lob i have none of those so adding this would be my first like big time blue eyes this one's not nearly the price of some of those but it's still like pretty expensive very exciting card i'm super excited to add it to the collection gonna be seeing a psa video of this coming up soon so get excited if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this uh hopefully it's epic and awesome shout out to tome flow show daxer jt cho puffins of doom ernesto dienda miss cycle america doister supreme sage 21 and under show ian musa junior barding and mimic echo thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace